All right, in this short video, we're gonna show you how to acquire and explore the UCF 101 Action Recognition Dataset. Now, if you're new to 51 and the Dataset Zoo, 51 is an open source tool for building high quality datasets and computer vision models. The 51 Dataset Zoo contains a collection of common datasets that you can download and explore inside the 51 app with just a few simple commands. Now, a few quick words about the UCF 101 Dataset. It's a human action recognition dataset of realistic action videos collected from YouTube. Now these videos have been categorized into 100 action categories. And at the time of its release in 2012, it was the largest video action recognition dataset available to the research community. The dataset contains over 13,000 videos for a total of 27 uh, hours of runtime in, as mentioned, 101 action categories that have been grouped into 25 groups where each group consists of four to seven videos. The videos are characterized by a large diversity of actions as well as large variations in camera motion, object appearance and pose, object scale, viewpoint, cluttered background, and illumination conditions. Now the UCF uh, 101 dataset itself is maintained by the University of Central Florida Center for Research in Computer Vision and was featured in the paper UCF 101, a data set of 101 human actions classes from videos in the wild. And if you wanna learn more about the data set, the authors and the research paper, make sure to check out the description down below. Let's answer the question, what is human action recognition? So as you can imagine, it's very easy for a human to watch a video, recognize that there are humans in the video and the sorts of actions that they're performing in the video. But having a machine do the same thing is going to be a very challenging problem. And this is what precisely the subfield com in computer vision called video understanding is all about. Now, for the purposes of this data set, the problem is going to be how do we automatically assign a video into one of the 101 different action categories? What sort of use cases are there for human action recognition? There's surveillance, whether it be military, industrial, or civilian applications. There's healthcare, for example, the monitoring of patients as they move around a facility, human computer interaction, content based video retrieval, and video summarization. Now that we have a little bit of background about the data set, let's go ahead and start exploring it. So, to do that, we're going to want to first uh, set up a virtual environment and then activate that environment. And with the environment activated, uh, we're going to want to install IPython that's going to give us a nicer interactive shell uh, to work with. Next up, we're going to want to install FFmpeg. This is going to be required as we are working with a video data set. We are also going to want to install a utility that's going to allow us to uncompress uh, the video files that we'll be working with. So let's open up an IPython session. From here, let's go ahead and upgrade our setup tools. With our setup tools uh, upgraded, we're now ready to go ahead and install 51. With 51 installed, let's go ahead and restart the kernel. With the kernel restarted uh, and in a new IPython session, let's go ahead and import uh, the UCF 101 dataset, do a re-encode as well as launch the 51 app in our default browser. And here's what you're gonna see by default. You can see the samples are off to the right. A couple of things, if you're interested in looking at the actual uh, data files themselves, you can navigate into the test directory and you'll see the 101 categories there along with the video files. So you can see that we're working with the test uh, data set. Uh, there's about 37 to 3,800 uh, different samples here in this particular uh, data set. A couple of things that you can do in the sidebar on the left-hand side. So for example, uh, we can click on ground truth and we can, for example, search by uh, ID, in this case, a yo-yo sample. Uh, we can also, for example, search uh, by category. In this case, we're going to be searching for our skateboarding samples. And from here, we can also double click on one of the samples. And you can see off to the right hand side, you get additional information, whether it be metadata, labels, uh, etc. Scrolling down within the sidebar on the left hand side, you do also have options in regards to filtering by primitives. So for example, you can filter by file path. 
And that's it. You've successfully imported the UCF 101 data set. And from here, you can start taking on some more advanced tasks like creating data set views, aggregations, interactive plots, as well as performing annotations and even evaluating models. So what's next? Well, if you haven't already done so, we encourage you to get started with 51. As you've seen, it's quick, it's easy, and it's painless. If you have any questions about the data set or 51, make sure to join us over on the 51 Community Slack channel. And if you like our work here at Voxel 51, we'd always appreciate a GitHub star on the 51 project. And don't forget, there's over 30 more data sets to explore over in the 51 Dataset Zoo.